Hello. Hello. Hello, my friends on Hatari Water. This time we are going to do a uh, interpolation and uh, inverted and weighted interpolation for like many, many shape files. Okay, so in order to do that, we will use the processing toolbox and then here we'll say inter interpolation and then here we have the inverse distance weighted interpolation that is a process from saga -Gis. other process with there are the, the multi-level interpol there are four processes available so but i will use the e the bevel e inverse distance weighted and here i i mean if i wanted to do it um like as a if I want to do this, like um, like uh, layer per layer, I will use this interface. But if I want to run it as a batch process, it's this interface. And here, I expand this. And here first, I, how many layers do I need? Uh, let me close this because I want to see my layers. I have a seven layers. so. Run as batch process. Need seven, six, seven. Okay, first, uh, I will need this one. Select all. Happens when so you say okay, okay, cool. That's great. Hmm. Okay, the attribute table. Uh, that I will need is elevation. And this is the same for all of them. A is inverse distance to the power. Yep. Power two, exponential Gaussian. Yes, I think this is okay because aware of. Uh, search ah the search la radius. This is actually was this is the result from a mod from model with a discretization of two hundred meters. So one hundred meter will be a search radius of like very small. So I will put four hundred meters. Maybe five hundred meters will be okay. Is inverse distance okay? No matter. Mm -hmm. In all directions, why not? Maximum number of near points, 10 is okay. Output extent is okay. Cell size 100. Yes, I think that cell size of 100 will be okay. You can put it 50. Yeah, because I mean, it really depends on your, on your configuration. I think that for a raster do not wait so much. So for me, this one's okay. Again, loading QGIS, yes. And here, where I do I need to store this? So I will need to store in a place where I want my ah, uh, ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta. where I want my. Inter Interpolations, okay. Here in interpolation, the first ones will be the uh, okay. Will be the water table because for the first one is the water table. Yeah, okay. Tiff, tiff is okay. Autofill mode. This is filled with parameters. Okay, do know the autofill. I don't know what what was what it was. We are always learning. And the second one will be I want this to be up. Yes. Well, this one is for one year, so I will take this and I will go here and it will be 
because it's actually the no this one no this one this one here this one year this one is actually 10 years yes and two this one is 20 years this one is two years this one is yes 30 30 years and this one is five years yeah this really depends on the order okay five years so it's 10 1 22 35 235 okay so i say okay i think i have done everything okay but who knows let's press run um, well so far it says that it, it has done the first one so let's see let's see oops we hold here we have a grid but cool it says it has completed that's great let me check something else Yep, it's okay. So I can change it. And here I said this. Uh, you cannot see because it's actually not in the right system of coordinates. So, okay, here is the SRC and it's that it's called grid, but in fact, it's not grid because this is some properties. This is some metadata. What is it? This is the time series of five years. That's great. Okay, so I say. Uh -huh. Because actually it's called grid, but for me it's rename five years. Like these properties. And this will be. years new properties two years most probably the first one will be 20 years but never do this by your own. I mean, please check every time because otherwise you will be carrying a, an error. Rename. Will be 20 years properties. Here. This will be 20 years. Rename 20 years. This will be properties. Not so tedious. It's okay, here. No. Rename. Hey, this is one year. Properties. Yeah, this is one year. So this is rename one year and this will be 10 years properties 10 years okay and this will be will be the water table okay 
Okay, and then you can see only the first one because you have to apply the right to all of them. So this is the 30 years. And here where you see some missing spaces is actually because uh, it's for the search radius. Your search radius was not, I mean, there are some missing places here and your search radius was not so strong. Okay, you have to uh, like to search radius, but for me, I I haven't done it. So, okay, so set, yes, increment your search radius and it will appear just on the latest years. Set layer, okay. TRS. Set layer CRS. Okay. Uh, set layer CRS. So here you have all the raster files from your model. Okay. And um, okay, and this is was a nice example about how to do a uh, inverse distant weighted with QGS and the processing toolbox. Okay, see you on the next tutorial. My name is Saul Matoya. Please support our initiative in water resources by sharing this on your um, by sharing this on your um, what by sharing this on your social networks and following this YouTube channel. Okay, bye bye.